Dear students, in this lecture, we will discuss about the migratory insertion reactions mechanism. So, how uh, the reaction takes place actually? Is it a methyl migration or is CO insertion? So, for this reaction mechanism, in 1967, Cal Derajo, he done an experiment and in this experiment he has taken the Mn complex where it is uh, one of its carbonyl group is labeled with 13 C. So this is a manganese complex with four carbonyl without labeling, one carbonyl with 13 C labeling and one methyl group. Okay. So, this compound is MnCO4-13CO and methyl at cis position. So, its name is this. So, this is cis methyl manganese and there are tetracarbonyl and one carbonyl is labeled with C13. And in presence of CO, we are doing the experiment. So, he has done the experiment in presence of CO because migratory insertion reaction, it requires one ligand to, uh, to fulfill the vacant site that is created during the migration or insertion. Uh, so if we don't use this ligand, then the backward reaction may take place easily because there is one vacant site and then the group can again migrate to its initial position. So, generally we, uh, we do the experiment in the presence of some ligand so that on that vacant site this, uh, this group may bind. Okay. So, now in this uh, process I have shown the methyl migration. So, in this experiment I have shown the methyl migration. So, methyl migration can be done with the four carbonyls which are present to, uh, to the cis position of this methyl group okay because migratory insertion for migratory insertion reaction this is the requirement then the, that the two uh, groups which are going to uh, combine or uh, one group that is going to migrate they should be in the cis position to each other so this methyl group can First, in this complex, we can see that this is a cis complex. Okay, so methyl group is in cis position with the carbonyl group. Okay, so now this CS3 can migrate to this CO because this is at cis position. This CS3 can migrate here because it is again with this at the cis position. This methyl group can migrate to this CO group and this can migrate to the CO group but cannot migrate to this CO group because this CO group is at the trans position to this CS3 group. So, my, for migration of methyl group, it, uh, there are four CO groups that are present at the cis position to this CS3 group. Okay. Now, let's see. If this CS3 group is migrating on this carbonyl that is labeled with 13 C. So, I have shown it by first. So, this is the first product. First product will be that this CS3 will migrate here. So, uh, this will become COCS3 and here the C will be labeled with C13. And this CO will go to the vacant site that is created by the migration of this CS3 group. So, this CO will come here. So, in each case, this CO will come here because in this case, CS3 is going to migrate. So, this incoming ligand will, uh, will uh, come to that position. Uh, where the methyl group is present because it is migrating. Now, come to the second product. This methyl can migrate to this carbonyl group. So, uh, the, uh, I have shown this by second. So, second product will be that it becomes COCS3 group and CO will insert here and 13 CO will remain as such. Okay. Now, uh, for the third product, I have shown this migration. CS3 can migrate to this carbonyl. Okay. So, this becomes COCS3. So, here the product is like that, that 
it becomes COCH3. So, this COCH3 is present at the transposition of this labeled carbonyl. Now, the fourth product may be possible, it can migrate to this carbonyl. Okay. So, if this uh, migrate here, so you will find that this is a COCH3 and this kind of product will be obtained. Now, if you see this product and this product, these two products, they are similar. Here, 13C is in the cis position to COCH3 and again here also, this 13CO is at the cis position to this COCH3. So, these two products are the same products, okay. So, we can say that if methyl group migrates in migratory insertion reaction or we can say that it may be an alkyl group. So, we will find the two uh, are the same products. So, the ratio of the products will be 1 is to 2 is to 1. So, 1 uh, we will find this product where the COCS3 is having the labeled C. Then two products are th where the CO, uh, this labeled carbonyl is at the cis position to this COCS3 group. And in the third product, the COCS3 group represent at the trans position to the labeled carbonyl. So the product ratio will be 1 is to 2 is to 1. So this product is 1, this product is 2 and this product is 1. So actually, Calderazzo, he find that this ratio was obtained when he done the experiment with this magnesium complex using CO group and he find these products in the ratio 1 is to 2 is to 1. So, he, he suggested that the, the migratory insertion reactions actually occurs through the migration of alkyl group. Now, I will show you the other uh, insertion that may occur through insertion of carbonyl. So, if we see the other part of this reaction, that can be CO insertion. So, again the CO insertion will take place on the, uh, the CS3 or alkyl group that is cis to that carbonyl. So, uh, the insertion may be of this carbonyl because it is cis to this CS3. This carbonyl may insert here because it is again at cis position, this carbonyl may insert or this carbonyl may insert. This carbonyl cannot insert because this is at the trans position to this alkyl or methyl group. So, okay. so now we'll uh, see the products of this CO insertion. So, in this case, we will find that in the first case, we will first discuss the first case where we will find that this CO can insert here. So, if this CO will insert here, the, the inserting ligand that come to that position, so it comes here and this CO will move here. So, uh, this is the insertion reaction. So, this may be the product. Then, uh, the second uh, is this CO can insert here so that this CO will become the inserted CO. So, this is the uh, shown by the red and this becomes a COCS3. Okay. Now, the third one is that this CO can insert here. So, red one will be here. So, this is the position and the fourth one is that this labeled CO can insert here. Okay. So, now the red one will come here. So, red one will come here and the product will be this. So, if we see these three products, these three products are actually the same because in this product COCS3 is at the cis uh, position to this 13 CO. Again, they are at the cis position and again they are at the cis position. While in this product, you will see that this acyl group is uh, having the labeled carbon. So, this is uh, actually the different product and these three are the different uh, same products. So, uh, this they are, these are the three products and this is one. So, if CO insertion uh, is taking place in the migratory insertion reaction, then the ratio of the product should be like this. So, that 3 is to 1 ratio should be there. But this product was not observed actually and the ratio of the product that was experimentally proved by Calderazzo in 1967 was the 1 is to 2 is to 1. So, he suggested about this mechanism. He suggested about this mechanism 
that the migration migratory insertion reaction it actually occurs via methyl or alkyl migration because in his experiment he find the products in the ratio 1 is to 2 is to 1 and these product he observed actually so the migratory insertion reaction it occurs via methyl or alkyl migration not via co insertion okay so thank you very much